Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 10th through, what is it, the 16th. Okay, so this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this reading fits easily, then it's for you. If you have to make it fit, you know, if it doesn't fit easily, if you're confused, then the reading's not for you. Okay, this reading will fit easily if it's meant for you. Okay, this is the vice versa tarot deck. There is stuff on both sides. Before I um, turned on the camera, I shuffled. Okay, shuffled. My eyes closed and was concentrating on you. And um, I was smiling. So somebody's smiling. You guys may be smiling, all right? Then I shuffled, you know, and I set the... I, I set this down, I opened my eyes, and we have the, the King of Swords, the King of Swords, ready. He's got his armor on. I am ready to face the storm. I'm ready. I'm going in. What do you got? This is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is having faith and, and knowing that you can conquer, you can conquer it, you can, you, you'll make it. I know that I'm going to make it, I'm going, so there's no stopping you now. There's no stopping you. I want to shuffle. So that was the Empress reversed. We will talk about that as well. That is, you may be closing yourself off. Okay, you may be feeling like you need to protect yourself. Maybe you feel like you do need to protect yourself from being taken advantage of. From going through pain again. You know, you, maybe that's where you're at. It's like, man, I don't, I don't want to deal with any pain. Um, you may decide, you may be in a situation where there's no more growth. With the Empress looking outward, there's no more growth in that situation. So, you know, it's, it's really time for me to face this storm. There's no more growth. Ooh, yeah. You are definitely... It looks to me like you're looking in a new direction, Virgo. You're looking in a new direction because wherever you've been, it's dead. And you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity um, for rebirth, basically, um, with a perfect, a perfect match. A perfect match. So, son of a gun. Definitely looking in a new direction, okay? You are, and there's that phoenix rising. So yeah, you are definitely going through some sort of new direction. You are definitely going in a new direction. You're walking away. You're walking away from something. Seriously. I will walk into this darkness. I have the strength to do so. I have the knowledge. I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. I will take care of myself just fine. I can. I'm going to. So it feels like you guys are feeling very abundant with who you are. And it feels as though you have been perhaps waiting for something to grow on the dead tree. We have, you guys could be leaving a relationship, moving away from a relationship. The Ten of Cups basically in the reverse. You're walking away. You guys, There's no shit. You guys are absolutely turning your back on something. Okay? Or somebody's walking away from you. It could go both ways. Okay? Because, I mean, here we have an emperor. He's turning his back. So this could, this could be an Aries. So maybe it, it, it appears to me that somebody isn't really communicating very well. There's a lack of communication here. Nobody's looking at each other. Okay? 
there's a lot of thinking going on, thinking about would it be better off to be on my own? There hasn't been any growth for a long time. Somebody's died waiting for growth, waiting for change, waiting for the sun to come out, waiting for it to rebirth, just for hope. Just a glimmer of hope. Just give me something, please, to hold on to. And now I feel like you've come to the point where, you know what? It's time for me to be happy. It's time for me to find abundance in other areas of my life. I have to walk away from this situation that is unfulfilling to me. I mean, <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards out of ten. The backs are turned in eight of those cards. You guys are absolutely walking away from some, turning your back on something. taking steps in a new direction. And this new direct direction is absolutely divinely guided. And it's going to lead you towards something that is very emotionally love, okay? It's going to lead you towards love. Whether it's a job or it's a romance, it's going to lead you towards something that you absolutely positively love But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to walk away from your ego. You're gonna have to walk away from somebody that has ego. You walk away from either your own ego or you walk away from another person that always had to win. This person always had to win. This person, he, he he's like, you know what, go ahead. Keep your swords. Keep, keep what you have. Keep it. It's not worth it anymore. I don't need to be a part of this. I'm walking away from this fight. There's too much darkness here anyway. I'm ready to face this storm, the weather, the, the, the shit storm. I'm ready to face it. I'm going to suit up and head out. It's like as you make that decision to head out, it's like the path is being lit. You are lighting up a new path for yourself. The action that you are taking is, is allowing you to it's opening the possibilities up to something more abundant and beautiful because Venus is beautiful, okay? Then you even then you even fathomed, okay? This is very unexpected. It's not what you expected. It's not what you expected. It's, it, it, this is when you walk away from this situation that was less than emotionally fulfilling. It, it, it really wasn't. It really, really, really wasn't emotionally fulfilling. It really, really brought you down. There's a new opportunity like waiting On the other side, on the other side of this darkness, on the other side of this, well, I don't know where they are. It looks like, I mean, it looks like they're in, I don't even know, some kind of barren mountain or something, you know, where there's, I don't know where they are, but don't look good. Anyway, um, maybe it's the desert at night, but then again, there's mountains here. But anyway, when you get to the other side, there's a new opportunity. 
it's like you get to the other side and you are you this opportunity this this rebirth that you've been waiting for just whew, like that you know what I mean it's like you're just a totally different person you're starting a new journey you are absolutely starting a new journey you may be considering your options about where you want to go what you want to do I feel as though right now you're probably trying to make a decision as to if you where you want to move you know what you where there's something to do with moving I don't think that you're happy where you're at probably in your living situation and it feels as you're trying to decide as to what the next step is where, where am I gonna go all I do know is that I can't stay here I'm not staying here I know that there is more abundance out elsewhere and that's what this is it's like I am I I'm fine I'm fine So I think that there's a there's like walking away from a relationship of some sort walking away from some sort of contract right into another one you know right into another one whether this is job or or relationship wise and there's choices I mean with that lovers card right next to that two of pentacles it's it's making the choice do you want to keep living in this state of chaos or or do you want to take those steps and, and walk out of it because the opportunity is now to keep on walking don't look back and I don't think you're going to I don't think that you are looking back I think you guys are gone 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 and there's a better opportunity with that is is more exciting than where you've been so we have Libra Gemini Aquarius Gemini a couple times you may be dealing with a Gemini you have Gemini three times here so you could be dealing with a Gemini um, yeah that's what it looks like or Aries Leo Sagittarius now there could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that is turning their back on you walking out of your life because or maybe you're leaving them behind because they're so negative this person is just they don't have any flame and you're over here shining bright and they're like poor poor pitiful me you know woe is me so perhaps you are walking away from somebody that doesn't have any ambition that's what it looks like to me it's like you're you're ready to fly you're ready to rise and you may be dealing with another individual that is putting out your fire so yeah it looks to me like you guys are headed towards a really 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 happy place that you didn't expect I mean you didn't expect this to happen I feel like you, you expected things to be a lot worse than they are after you walk away from this situation, whatever it was. I think you expected it to be a lot worse, and it turns out that there's a lot of light on the other side. You know, there is. And there's a lot of abundance on the other side. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of gratefulness. There's a lot of, you know, comfortable. I think that once you get to the other side... You, you start to uh, grow into somebody that you didn't even know you were, you know. Here it's dead, and here's the growth. I mean, look at the difference. You go from some an, a situation that is completely dead and gray to abundance, to being happy, to being, you know, f f from gray to beautiful blossoming growth I mean look at her I mean it, it goes from from deep sadness to complete content I'm so happy and, and the whole world can see it so you go from doom and gloom to sunshine 
and butterflies. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just a huge shift. So it looks like that's what's happening here. It's from, from, from being manipulated, ma manipulated and, and not taking action and from not finding the powers within you, not finding the strength to face the storm to all of a sudden getting that strength, facing the storm, pushing through, struggling through it, getting to the other end and then finding your abundance. Your reward comes. You walk away from something and your reward comes. And along with that abundance comes love. Unexpectedly. Queen of Cups. Somebody is offering you love. Could be any sign, but this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could represent any sign offering you love. Man or woman. Somebody is is opening their heart. Oh, and there you are. Well, son of a gun, this is a problem. All right, so this is definitely a problem. Somebody wants to, well, maybe it's not. Maybe you're protecting yourself. I mean, this is you with your back turned to this offer. What? That makes sense, doesn't it now, Virgo? You're turning your back on an offer of love or... You're turning it back on somebody that has good intentions because you're insecure. You don't know what you want. You're afraid of a new contract. You're afraid of a new commitment. Maybe you don't think you have time for this person. You've got too many other responsibilities, right? You've got too much to do. You can't, you can't be a part of this right now. There's too much. I'm juggling too much. I'm looking. Look at all. You know, look at what she's looking. This is you looking at this. Looking at all the, the things that you have to do to get done. Can I juggle this? Can I... Can I, can I let love in? Do I have time for love? You might have to make some compromises. And maybe you have to take your time with this. And you need to be able to, to blend the two. Love with your work. Love with your home. But blending and compromises, compromising is needed. Because whatever this is, there is a, this, this could work. Maybe, maybe part of this lesson is being able to compromise. Everything happens for a reason. This is a card of purpose. This is also a card of, of balance and healing in doing things in moderation. So perhaps you need to take your time. You don't need to just turn your back completely on this offer. Take your time with it. Maybe you got to drop something that is less important. I think that you're, you're in your head. You may be a little ungrounded, okay? You may be a little ungrounded at this time because things are happening. Things could be happening a little too fast. You could have a, a new opportunity with somebody that is, you know, there's a connection. There's a, there's a spiritual connection between you and this person, okay? And it's, it's it, I mean, come on now. It could definitely be love, okay? It could definitely be love. There's mutual attraction, 
um, there's a deep connection here between you and another person that is undeniable it is it truly is it's it's like it's it's uh, It is. It's, it's, it's a divine union. This is love. This is this is meant to be love, but it looks like you. And I think it's it's either with an earth sign or a water sign, and I feel as though, or it could be that we have Sagittarius here too. We do have Aries. We we have we have all the signs. So just strike that one. Anyway, um, you you think that you can't handle it. You think that you can't handle it. Or you might think that this is a little too much. But if you can work together and you can compromise, you know, and, and, and replan, replan the whole situation, replan your your life, there's an opportunity for a, a joining together that I, it looks like it's meant to be. The hangman basically reversed you're still stuck you're still stuck refusing to cut yourself some slack why can't you cut yourself some slack what are you trying to prove You're not the same person you used to be. So why are you hanging on to this dead end situation? Whether you're hanging on to it emotionally, because this is a perception, a perception, a per perspective, okay? When all you have to do is walk away. And this is a thought. Swords are thoughts. They're feelings. If you can master your feelings and walk away from something out of your own self-love, you will feel the ultimate abundance. Trust me, you will. There's an opportunity for a joining together if you could just see it, if you could allow it, if you could just let it happen and stop turning your back on love. You want love. I know that you do. It's on both sides of you. It is. It's on all sides of you. Okay, it's here, here, and here. Okay, here, here, here. It's all around you. Love is all around you. But you're struggling with it. You're struggling with this love. Damn it. You need to follow your intuition. The script was written well, many, 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 many birth times ago, right? It's time to you for you to listen. Listen. Follow your intuition. It knows what you need to do. You need to turn your back on a situation that was emotionally unfulfilling, made you question your own thoughts. The situation made you question yourself. It did. There was a lot of negative energy in that situation. It 
It was very gloomy. And I feel that now that you have walked away from something, physically walked away, there's an opportunity for love that you're afraid of. You're afraid of it. That's what this is. I think you're afraid of love. The Ten of Wands. It's really starting to hurt you. Whatever it is that you're holding on to is hurting you. Do you want to die with this burden on your back? Look, at that's a statue of him. Do you? Is this how you want it to be? This guy, is, he's turned stone cold. That's what happens when you hang on to burdens and things that don't serve you. You grow cold. And now it's time to defend yourself and put yourself back on top. Stand up for what you deserve. I feel like there is somebody coming in, Virgo, or is here. Somebody is here that wants you to accept their offer. And it's divinely guided. It's unexpected. This person is not your usual type. It's not what you thought. It's not who you were looking for. Okay, it's not. It's not your your ideal partner. You know, this person that has come onto the scene is not the partner that you thought it was. It's not. They don't fit the description. They don't fit the description. They don't fit fit the you know vision board <laughs> you know <coughs> this person is not the one that you thought it was <coughs> it's making me choke <laughs> which is funny that's funny that that just happened it's like this I don't understand this isn't what I thought I can't believe this is happening I can't I can't believe it but Virgo, this is a divine connection. It feels as though it's something that you have manifested. All of a sudden, you know, this person is here. And they're offering you something that is full of love. It's all around you. But you're going to have to open up to it. You're going to have to turn around. You're going to have to... Stop hiding. Stop hiding from love, Virgo. Whatever it is, whatever this is, it's, it's, it's what you've been wishing for. So if you are doubting your intuition or you're doubting that you should move forward with this connection, I'm here to tell you that you should move forward with this connection because it is absolutely the right time for it. The divine timing, okay? This is a card of divine timing. It's the time, the time, the time for this to happen. This is a, a love connection that is meant to happen at this time. This is for the people who have freed themselves from a situation and have, you know, this is for single people. It is. If you are in a relationship, you probably need, to, this is the next step. That's what it looks like to me. Single, being single. 
and, and loving it. Get into this point and then this person comes in. We were going to talk about timing in one of my timing for these readings in one of my next live session, but for those of you that are still struggling to leave this situation that is so heavy and so burdensome and just no love, okay? There's no love here. There's not any love. It's dead. It's done. Some of you are still in that spot where it's it's done and you need to move on. You know it. You know it, okay? And you're you're you need to get to the spot. You know, I just I'd rather be here than here. I'd rather be here than here. For some of you, you know, you get to this point and now we have this love connection. For those of you that are single and you've gotten to this point, this love connection is here and this person is going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to heal from this situation that was negative in your life, you know, that held you back from being all that you could be. This person is going to help you to heal. Okay, they are. But you have to truly turn your back on that situation that was, you know, less than happily ever after, you know. And you're still, you're still holding on to that situation that was less than happily ever after, okay. It's still there. It's still bothering you. Let's get one of these. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of perhaps making a decision. Do you want this love or not? Are you ready to fit this in? Are you ready to fit this into your life? Are you? Are you ready to make some compromises? Are you ready to have this union? Is this what you want or would you rather be single? I mean, that's what it is. Do you want to be single or do you want to be in this commitment? If not, I mean, this could go this could go a few ways, okay? Some of you are leaving. Some of you are turning your back on a situation this week. You're done. You're turning your back. Some of you are have already turned your back and you're ready to face the storm. It's like, this is the week. You take, you get the fuck out. Excuse my language. But then, then there's some of you that have already gotten out. You get to this point. You've removed yourself from the, the gloom and doom. You get to this point and now here it is. Either way, there's a, there's a new lover here. There's a new lover. There's a brand new lover here for every scenario. Whether it happens today, next week, six months from now. We're going to talk about timing in another, in a live. There is new love with somebody that you are meant to be with in the future. Period. And this person is going to compliment you and they are gonna you guys are gonna help each other to heal. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That's good advice. You're struggling right now. You're struggling with the decisions that you need to make in regards to love. It's a struggle. Are you ready to face this? Are you ready to suit up and get the hell out? Are you ready to let love in? Are you ready to make some compromises? Are you ready to face the world with another person, a new person. Are you ready to face the world with a new person? That's the question. Are you ready to commit? This could lead. This could lead to marriage. I, I mean, I, are you ready? Are you ready? That's what this reading is about. You're headed in a new direction. And it looks a hell of a lot brighter than where you've been. Talk to you later.